Hello, hello, hello. Max morning. Max morning, people. All my love to you wherever you are calling, dialing in from, or re-watching from. How are you doing today? You know, sometimes people ask how are you like a rhetoric kind of question, but sometimes it's really, really good to know how people are doing. You know, like how are you? How are you? How are you today? How was how was your Valentine's Day yesterday? Um, some of us are single and searching. Are single Pringles? <laughs> some of us are married. We are out of the market. Some people are married, but they are still acting like. See you. <laughs> well, well, I had a wonderful Valentine yesterday. Thank God for my wife. She made things easy, smooth. It was fun. We had a lovely time. I think I shared some of it on my stories. Uh, talking about stories, we're actually going to talk about Instagram and Facebook stories today. Today is, we're going to talk about the day 43, day 43. Topic is Instagram and Facebook stories. Hello, if you are watching this live, can you just give me an L for live? Hello, where are you dialing in from? Where are you calling from? Hello, Irene. It's always good to see you here. How are you doing? How was your Valentine? Hope, hope you were not lonely. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Great. So it's going to be a short training today uh, anyway, because I, I know um, some of us already... Um, we already used to, or we already at least know enough about um, stories, you know. And me, someone like me, for instance, I do a lot of stories. I, I tell a lot of stories using the stories. So, and the good thing about using stories, uh, Instagram, Facebook, <laughs> great. I'm happy to have been inspiring you. Thank you. <laughs> so the good thing about stories is that you know um when you share stories on instagram and on facebook people when they respond it's coming straight into your dm you know you already create a private message you already created a safe platform for you guys to chat and ex exchange information also because the stories just last and stay there for 24 hours you also have an opportunity to actually be able to Go back to some of your old stories using the, um, um, what's it called? Um, you can actually go to your archives and search back some of the old stories you've made and use those old stories to create a highlight. So a highlight like a streak of videos or pictures and then put that on your profile as well. So stories are a great tool to be able to use to um, communicate, you know, and life and marketing and sales is really about storytelling how good of a storyteller you are so without much ado you know um let's go straight into it um for those of you uh, who missed yesterday yesterday was the was Anne and Tombo took you know some of the questions questions and answers you know some questions that some people had there was some pretty interesting questions and lessons there things that i actually learned from and you know it was great um like how do you like the difference would you rather use your local language to do some videos you know or would you just stick to english how would you increase your followers maybe from 100 to 1000 how do you increase from 1000 to 5000 to 10000 to 20000 you know and there were some really really good um um, um recommendation there you know regarding how to do collaborative posts regarding how to do live sessions group live sessions you know regarding how to um to to just get into these activities that would actually increase and expand your exposure letting people know what you offer you know once as in, in simple in simple ways you know once they come into your profile you know and just being able to be more 
interesting and passionate because once you are passionate about what you do people will follow you people will also people that also like what you do would um, engage you forgive me i have a little flu so i might be rubbing my nose every once in a while i did some swimming yesterday and i think i've, I've not recovered from it max morning max morning Adjake. great 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 so of us are still recovering from uh, uh, um valentine love you know for some of us we try to make it every day you know valentine is every day and so your business just the way we do business you know business is every day if we don't do business today and then give a break tomorrow you know it's the same way we have to show love like every day to your partner to your spouse to those people around you you know love is a is a lifestyle it's a language it's part of who we are okay so great 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 so um storytelling by the way i know we have a lot of assignments people have uh, um assignments awesome i'm happy to know that there's a lot of extra love uh, on your side great assignments have you been engaging have you been doing some of these assignments have you been learning and what have have your have your um feedback been have you gotten people the showing interest you know if if you have gotten some decent feedback you know just give me gf give me gf type in gf for good feedback good feedback you know you might be getting some negative or no response but as far as we're doing the activity and you are practicing what we are teaching you, that's the only thing you can control and that's progress okay that is progress great great good to know that some people are getting some good feedback yeah because yeah yeah we have an unlimited potential of people out there and if the truth is that some of the things we teach you here may not resonate with you it may not be like oh this is not my style i don't see myself doing it but i would just urge you to try it and see try it and see you never really know what people would connect with you know you know you might just think you are one way or you have your way of doing things but if you have your way and you want to stick to your way then there's going to be difficulty for you to grow so try okay good it's good to know that you're having some good results great great awesome awesome um so yes straight into it facebook instagram stories what are we talking about today it's clear stories are stories stories are engaging stories you know we need to learn how to share content in a way that would get people to engage i'm sure we are we've been learning but you will realize that in the past we've been doing things the wrong way when we just want to spam we just want to put pictures we just want to choke things off people's truth you give a lot of information without even making them interesting and so every day you are doing the same thing you're just putting out products out there this product that product you're just sharing things without style without skill without getting them you know wanting to engage you know how we talk about stories the power of stories uh, uh um, um as against just dropping mere facts people engage people like to hear stories people are people are craving to hear stories people are care, craving to see testimonies people like that interest being picked at and so that is some of the things that that, that I hope you have learned from all the social media thing we've been doing about how to use hooks, how to use hooks to be able to hook people's attention because people have a very short attention span on social media. There are so many things they want to go through. And so if you don't offer anything good, uh, interesting, they will just skip over, over you. And so there are just, before we move on, just know that there are different types of, uh, of, of, of um, accounts first of all i'm sure you are aware that you can link your instagram account to facebook directly and and, and so that your post on instagram can actually also be um, be automatically shared on your facebook and there are different types of instagram accounts if you have a personal account you can link it to a personal facebook but you are not going to get any insights now insights are are, are are like extra information about your posts that people don't see it shows you about the engagement that 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 um, that your post had, how many people saved it, how many people shared it, how many people left the, the story, 
or, 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 or a post to actually come and see your profile. Now, insights are good tools that people that are into business, like you and me, should actually be interested in because you want to know what kind of things people engage more, what kind of things people save. You know, when people save your post, you actually see that they save it. And so it's interesting to give you some decent insight as to what people are more interested in, especially your followers. So if you have a professional account, you'll be able to get insights and data, but then you have to link your professional account on Instagram to a business Facebook page. So you need to create a business Facebook page to be able to link it with, with a professional Instagram account. And then if you have a creator IG page, you can actually link it either to a personal or business Facebook. So this is likely the best option to have a creator IG page. To be honest, even me, I, I did not know that before. I, I, I think I just used a, a professional account. And so posting stories from Instagram to Facebook, it does not enhance your reach as compared to posting them separately on Instagram and Facebook. You know, when you post something on Instagram and then because they are linked and it automatically shares on Facebook, your reach is not as big, it's not as wide as when you post it on Instagram separately and then you come and separately post it on Facebook. Then you're going to have more reach than when it just shares automatically. I hope you understand. So it's recommended that yes, you can use, you can, you can actually use your Instagram stories to post automatically on your Facebook stories. But if you have a post, a post, a content that you want to share as a post on Instagram, it's best to do it separately. Share that post on Instagram, then you come on Facebook and share it on Facebook. I had noticed the same thing and I realized that, you know, the post I, I actually put on Instagram and share it automatically on Facebook, it has, on Facebook, you usually have little or really, really less engagement. And this is the reason why. So I'm also learning, yeah. So uh, another um, um, recommendation is for us to be able to, now, if you are going to share a story, because we are going to teach you how to share like a story on Instagram, on Instagram story, it's recommended that you know you actually reset your stories, especially on Sundays. Reset it and have no story at all on Sundays because you know it's for 24 hours. So that on Monday you have a clean slate on Monday and you just start afresh from Monday, okay? So the assignment or what we are going to teach is about how do you share a story? A five part, what we call a five part story. Because you know, stories are short. We want to keep them short um, in the engagements. You know, previously stories, we could, we could only do stories for about 15 seconds. Now they've extended it to one minute. So it doesn't mean you should use up the entire one minute to do each part. You know, you can just use, try to use as less as possible. If you can keep it less than 30 seconds for each part that would be great because then you are going to just increase their attention and their and their uh, commitment to go through your entire story so i'm going to share a five part story now now in the first part is going to be the hook okay part one is going to be the hook you're going to use a video or a picture or whatever you like and you're going to be you're going to be, try to be extra like you're going to say something like Oh my gosh, I can't believe it as your hook. So you just put something that will, that will make people to ask, oh, what is it? Or what can't you believe? Or what, you know, just something like that. Oh, oh wow, you guys will never believe this. Oh, wow, this is, this is, this is un unimaginable. This is, so, so you just share a very short hook, either a picture or a video. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. So either a picture or a video that you use as a hook and then you share that and then immediately after that first part the second story you know it's a five part story the second story is now going to be immediately done like immediately afterwards you're going to share the first part of of, of the story itself which is going to be previous um the before of a story so maybe you want to talk about someone who lost weight or you only talk about someone who had uh, problems sleeping you know they had sleep issues that that's going to be your 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 
before you know so the so the part two of the story is where you're going to share the before so remember part one is where you share the hook part two is where you share the before like for instance well now um mary always used to have sleep issues she she never was able to sleep before 1 a.m she would always sleep by from 2 a.m and and it has been a problem a lot of concern to her and her family and she had a lot of you know stress issues because we're not getting enough sleep and then you now move over when you are done with the before it might be anything depending on what you, are, you want to talk about share the before then a part three is where you're not going to share the after right the after is where the result now look at mary mary now sleeps for eight hours a day mary has had a remarkable improvement in her health or mary has now lost 10 kg she's looking good she's she feels healthier she's now eating healthier so you're going to share the after as your part three okay now when they see the before and they've seen the after what question comes to their mind what happened you know what happened in between but now the catch is you didn't share the the in between in between you're not going to share the uh, the the what she took or what she did that gave her the results i'm going to share that as your part four that is after the after immediately after that okay so in your part four you're going to be like this is what she used to get the results that she had so you share product or whatever it is you are talking about okay so when you now share the part uh when you now share uh, what she took or what she did or maybe maybe some activities that she did or what she took then the part five is where you now do the offer okay the call to action something like if you are curious to know more about what she did to get this result drop a congrats in the message and i'll send you the exact steps she took you know you can also draw maybe like an arrow pointing to the message bar so that they send a message you know to your stories so this is how to share the, the, the five part story you share the part one is the hook part two is the before part three is the after part four is what she took or what she did part five is the offer now there's a green screen trick that you know i'm sure you'd have been seeing it a lot on instagram stories where people are standing or they are sharing a story and there's a different picture or a different video playing in their background you know that's what they call the green screen trick now if you are creating a story and you want to use the green screen trick remember when you when you open um instagram stories and you're about to record live from instagram you know you're going to see a lot of um on the on the bottom part you're going to see a lot of filters there are going to be many all right a lot of filters so if you scroll all the way right just scroll to the end of the filters you're going to see a search icon all right you click on the search and then when you click on the search you now type in you now search for green screen green screen and when you now select the green screen it will now give you an opportunity to add another picture or another video that can be in the background so before you do that it means you must have downloaded either the picture or a video that you want to be playing behind you when you are doing the video all right so that is just an option that's a green screen that this is a bingo all right this is a green screen trick that people use to actually enhance the story that they are telling depending on what they are talking about right so this five part story is more you know it, it is more it gives a lot more results and when people do the alternatives of just sharing a long story or just putting pictures you know how we used to do it before but there are rules you no know? the rules to share this five part story is number one you do it after a 24 hour reset meaning you want to do it as the first thing is the only story that you have meaning probably you you, you clear a day you use a day to first clear your stories you don't post anything and then in the next day when you when your stories are fresh you now start all right so do it after a 24 hour reset um reset and then um the second rule is that you do it the five part the hook and the three part stories and then you give the offer all right and then um the third rule is that you do them immediately after the other don't post one story one hour after the next one just do it immediately so probably you may have even saved them first and just post them immediately 
afterwards all right if you have a creator um account as well you can swipe up on your stories and you will see how many people have seen them so far and who they are all right so so that's also a cool thing so if you are dropping off between the first and the fifth you can start to adjust your content all right when you swipe up on your stories you see the one with the love heart first so me that like if someone is watching all your stories you can actually message them directly you know and it will come it will go straight to their inbox so you can actually engage people that are watching your stories for instance just type in you say oh hey bob i saw you watch my stories thanks for the support how are you doing all right don't send annoying messages all right if they didn't ask for information don't send them information you only send information when they have asked okay now a top tip you should know is that when you are on someone's stories when you're on someone's stories click the love heart like people's stories. people are putting up their stories for a reason they want you to see it and when you see it, you know don't just see people's stories and live all right like love people's stories you know when you give them love it shows that you know that it actually brings you to to be one of their top viewers and you can you know you can message them as well or just respond oh this is funny this is hilarious just learn to connect with people and their stories it builds relationships the more hearts you give the more comments you make then the, the person will actually realize you'll actually start building relationships i love people i know from instagram that i've never met i've never seen I know them a lot now because some people are always commenting on all my stories. They are watching, they are liking. I know them. I've never seen them, many, but we already have a sort of relationship. And 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 because they have been seeing what I'm doing, I also want to see and know what they are doing. So there's already a bond there. So that's a tip that you can use to build your social media stories and enhancement. I hope you've learned something today and I hope you're going to practice it. So our assignment, remember, is to do our five parts story. And I hope you get that done and get great results. If you're going to get that done, if you're going to, if you're going to do a story, if you're going to do a story, a five part story, just give me S S S S S. Type in S. Type in S S S S S for story, 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 story. Type in S S S S for story. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for joining the call, and I wish you um, all the best in your social media um, uh, marketing and business and you, you can also use this for your just for your own content it doesn't always have to be just for business all right we're just teaching you how to improve your engagement remember it's from the personal things you do from the passionate things you do that you actually start creating a bigger audience all right so use it as well for your personal content all right have a good day and see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now. If you have any questions or inquiries, you can just type it in the chat. I will be able to respond or one other, another leader might be able to respond when they see it. All right. Have a good one. God bless you.